Hi and welcome to this UX Builder tutorial. I will now show you how to create a custom blog layout by using the UX Builder. To start off with, you will have to write some posts that can be displayed on your page. We have already got some pre-written posts. The second thing we have to check is that there isn't a static page connected to the blog. So if we go to the theme options, we can go down the list to the static front page tab. And the Dropbox under the post page should not be assigned to any page as you can see here. Now we can go onto the page in which we want to create the custom blog layout and open the page in the UX Builder. The page is now opened and we can start to create the layout by adding a new element which is called blog posts. This serves as a layout tool and an element together. We will now get a list of options and we can change the style to shade and you will see the text coming in front of the picture. You can also see that the posts are displayed in a slider. So we can go to the layout type and change it to row. We can start off by having one big latest post on the top. So we can change it to one column and also change the total posts to one. You can also select a custom post to show, as well as posts from specific categories. We can change the title size and everything will change in real time. Change how the date is displayed. Add the category. Change the height. Add a overlay. And we can also add some background color behind the text in order for it to be a bit more clearer. There we go. So that's the first element we want to make, just to make the latest post stand out a bit more. So as you can see on the top here, it's a bit squished up to the banner. And that's because we've got a full width template applied to the page. So we can go ahead and add a gap. Now we can get to the second row of posts. So let's create another blog post element. This time we can add a bounce style. And you can see it bouncing up as I hover over them. We also want to have it in a row instead of a slider. And change the number of posts to three, seeing that we don't want a big list of posts. As you can see, the first post in the row is exactly the same as the one on top. That's because we haven't told the element where in the posting order we are. So we can make the element skip one post to go straight to the number two in the order. Again, we can add an overlay on the images, but let's add a background color on the text bounds. For the next layer, we can make it stand out more by adding a section in the layout variations. And instead of selecting any of the presets, we can just customize it ourselves and add a dark color. Just make it a bit lighter. We can now add blog posts in the section. So for this one, we can add a vertical style and put the columns to one. And we're just going to have one on the top again. So we can put it in the row and we can go down to the image settings 
and decrease the width of the image so that the text gets some more space. And then using the tooltip on the top, we can select the 4 to 3 option. And as you can see again, it's the same as the post on the top, so we had to add an offset to it. This time we can skip 4, as the 4 first blog posts are already displayed above, which means that this will be the 5th post. Now, as you can see the text is dark, which doesn't fit well with the dark background. And to solve that we can just go to the options on the section and select light in the layout colour. And we can make the text a bit bigger. Add the date as text. Add the category. And we can also align the text to the left. We only want one post at the top, so we can write one in the total posts. Here we go. Let's create the second row in the section. Make it normal. Uh, put it in the row. This time we'd like three posts like we did earlier. But we can add the offset first and then add three in the total posts. I can see now that I'd like a read more button in the post on the top. So we can click on it and add it to the options. So we just go to the read more button and write the text we'd like to be on the button. Perfect. Now we can get out of the section again by creating the blog post element under the section. We can put it in vertical style again. Put it in a row. Two columns to fit the text better. We'll just leave the total posts as it is so that we can list all the posts on the end of the page. We can also add read more buttons on them. Decrease the width on the images. Let's make it 4-3 again. And we can add a gap on the top. We can also align the text to be on the left. Then we're finished. We can now update the page, exit the builder, to see that now we've created a custom blog layout with a UX Builder. <laughs>